day 13 of hashtag popcorn horror fest we think i mean i'm sure that's right it feels like we've been doing it forever but it feels like i can't remember my life before this <laughs> will we ever stop watching horror films who knows um but yeah unlucky number 13 Ooh. so today we're watching martyrs is that right mm -hmm. um and it's your choice to us so why have you chosen it um chose it it's a french horror film that's supposed to become well recommended and is fairly intense and as I say I was doing the similar thing last year I was watching a few films I watched a French film called Inside but this was one I almost watched instead but didn't so I thought I'd try it this year today okay today yay so yeah so pay attention it's subtitled it's French um Mental note to self, pay attention. Yes, so, see you on the other side. <laughs> Bye! Ah! I, don't, I don't know what to say. How was that for you? Horrible, and I don't... I didn't, in a good way or a bad way? No, in a bad way. I feel a bit abused, to be quite honest. I feel Is that not kind of half the point no. of the film though? No. Anyway. I don't think I think it took it too far, personally, for me. I um I can kind of see what they were trying to do in terms of trying to be intellectual about something that is essentially could be categorised as torch porn um, there was s some pseudo intellectual crap behind it but it wasn't strong enough it wasn't worth it the message if there was one behind it wasn't worth the horror <laughs> horror is not the right word I don't know what the right word is the ordeal that you have to go through in sitting through it it's not if something's that agonising to watch like I got a stress headache I felt physically sick I and you know sometimes it's important to show things and um, have have a story that 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 opened your eyes to things that are horrific in the world because there are lots of horrors in the world and and film is a wonderful way of of confronting them and helping you to deal with that but when there's no important message that sits behind the ordeal that you have to go through then and i just don't think anything they were trying to say in that film was important enough for the the stuff they put you through it was too much i, I think couldn't, it was I definitely couldn't handle a, it. I, I couldn't handle it. I think there was and I like horror films. There they were trying to. I think, especially towards the end, what became clear, at least in my man, my mind, in my mind, there were certain parallels between Martyrs and Rosemary's Baby, in the way that it was this almost group and sect of people mm. who were utilising and using and abusing this person. For their own ends, but in, in Rosemary's Baby, they womb. they raped her and made her pregnant and stole her child. Whereas in this, um, yeah, they're taking over the whole body and with this sort of aim of and I think they break her down, they break her psychologically, physically. Hmm. Oh, they absolutely ultimately so destroy graphic. the person, and you see the person so inside out becoming <laughs> literally hmm. so graphic hmm. and. And do you know what? It actually, but, for me, started quite promisingly because when you've got the story of her friend, who the only reason she's there is because mm -hmm. she's with her friend from the orphanage, who is one of the victims of this mm -hmm. sect earlier, who'd escaped but but couldn't handle the pressure and basically got sent mad um, and thought there were things after her and was harming herself. I thought, oh, this is going to be an interesting commentary on mental illness, mm -hmm. um, but it's not that it's well I think it did it did flip through quite a few genres in a relatively interesting sort of way it went from the kind of home invasion horror at the beginning through the sort of almost demoness psychological aspect and then transposed itself into this final 
I just thought it was too much. I just couldn't. Element. It got to the point where we were in the last 20 minutes of the film and I was saying to us, I don't think I can keep watching it. I don't think I was basically spent the last 15 minutes behind a cushion. Um, and rarely do I have to do that for because I can usually separate the gore from reality. And this was just too, too graphic. I just couldn't. And I didn't think it was f for any real gain. Uh, it, was, it was just n in no way a pleasure to sit through. It was horrible. Um, and in, in, in that respect, why, why should I do that to myself? I, I don't... I like well, horror films. We don't have to do it again. Good. But I think, and I say, I, I wasn't aware going in how intense it would be. I think, it's I think, so I, think I said earlier, it was, it was on my list of... I made a list of home invasion horror films last year and ended up watching one French one called Inside and so didn't actually get around to watching this one but still had it in mind which is why we ended up watching it and so I actually knew very little aside from it seemed to be fairly well regarded by certain sources I knew very little about what was going to happen and where it was going to go and it was yet a lot more intense than I was expecting I think it needs a stronger important message to justify the intensity I I, that it, I think, and the, I think and the it, level that I, it goes I, I to I ultimately I think it had more going on than a lot of other horror films yeah, it, I mean there, there was I mean, this whole concept and idea of you could almost it wasn't even necessarily this religious aspect you can kind of just talk about this whole idea of transcendence life after death what happens you could imagine that there would genuinely be people that obsessed with finding out the message and who could do such terrible things to people and in the oh, same way that the, and that there was such a large number of them and the way that they went about doing it was almost so as clinical. disturbing they were just, and it was just ordinary people going about their family lives yeah. or ordinary married couples who just happened to in the basement be doing unspeakable people. things to poor people it's, but I don't think there was no what do, what's the takeaway what's the message there isn't I think if you're going to well, what's it's to not take so away much... from a lot of other horror films? I think, it's are... more, I, think, I think there's just as much to take away, if not more, there from certain films. I think the way this film went about doing that was potentially a lot more intense and extreme than others. But... I think the tone of it is such that it has to just uh, has to have something that backs it up, that justifies. It's a very serious, intense film, mm. and I, I don't think the ultimate message about Transcendence was... was it, I just I don't I didn't well, no, I don't, I think you can, I didn't you can say go, going back to it's not again I think with those these sorts of films though it's not ultimately about the message of transcendence in the same way that Rosemary Baby ultimately isn't about the devil's form that appears it's 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 about experiencing what the person goes through and you can but, kind of in in a, in, a, you, in the psychological way of Rosemary's Baby you really enjoyed it at the beginning in yeah. a sort of much more physical I enjoyed the whole grotesque thing. way it's a it's, different. I can't. I think it's it's a. So I think it's a similar sort of experience, but in manifesting itself in a slightly different way, and in a way that didn't work for you. No, it didn't. Your kind it of felt thing. gratuitous. It felt like they weren't really doing anything other than those mindless torture porn films, um, but pretending that they were. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't, couldn't deal with it. I, maybe it's not for me. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Oh. Never want to watch that Man. ever again. No, I would absolutely do the opposite of recommend this film I would advise anyone who's thinking about watching this film to stay as far away from it as possible <laughs> you unless what? you are literally a sadomasochist it's such a good job I didn't put a Serbian film on on the list I think really after this discussion right well anyway uh, tomorrow we're watching Silence of the Lambs which I think is probably going to be another harrowing evening for me a bit more sedate than no really. I, I think I'm going to I don't I hate that sort of cycle well I don't hate it I do like it if it's well done but I find it a struggle there is playing skin in that one yeah so so yeah fun um why are we doing this again <laughs> um see you tomorrow for Silence of the Lambs uh give us a thumbs up if you feel sorry for me because I certainly do right now Aww. bye